Hello everybody, this is Scott Detweiler from the Audubon Society of Western Pennsylvania. I want to show you some early spring wildflowers. The ones I'm showing you today are the ones that come up, the, come up first during the spring season. Many of these, as I speak, in late March are already up or will be coming up in the next few days. So if you have a chance, get out there and look for these. Our first wildflower of the season is usually skunk cabbage. The skunk cabbage flower buds emerge as early as late February, early March, and will open after they emerge. The leaves of the plant will not be out for quite some time, but the flowers will be. The flowers open up and they attract carrion flies. If you look inside the flower, you'll see a spiky ball. That's where the seeds are going to form. Another favorite of many is the snow trillium. This one is not as common as the others that I'm showing you. So if you find a station of it, it's something special. Snow trillium are very hardy. They will bloom in between snowfalls and be able to endure those cold below freezing nights that will sneak in throughout spring and uh, even into April. Snow trillium is a small species, but it's very hardy. Hepatica. Hepatica is another one of our early risers. You'll see the flower before you see the leaves. The leaves are there, but their last year's leaves are kind of brown and hard to find. The flower is very prominent as it pops up. The difference in colors you see here are really the same species. It's just that on some individual flowers, as they age in the season, they will take on a purplish cast that you see here. Most often you see the white. Spring beauty, of course, is another familiar favorite. Spring beauties are known for blooming early. Spring beauties bloom throughout the spring season. We just tend to lose track of them as other flowers emerge. Bloodroot is another of our favorites that we like to see in early spring. This one will emerge with a very lovely white flower. The leaves are there as well. They emerge along with the flower, although you may not notice them quite as readily. They haven't fully opened up uh, just yet. You have to look quick for this one, though, because once that flower comes up, it will uh, drop its petals within a day or two. Dutchman's breeches, we're getting a little later on here in these. Dutchman's breeches blooms a little bit later than the others I've shown you, although the leaves do emerge early. As these other ones are blooming, these Dutchman's breeches, leaves are emerging, and then they'll be ready to bloom as soon as they get a nice stretch of warm weather. And last in our earlier risers are the trout lilies. If you see trout lilies coming up, well, you're probably going to see some other wildflowers emerging very soon as well. Some of the ones that come up, up a little bit later in the season. Trout lily is called trout lily because of the modeling on the leaf there. It looks like the side of a trout fish. Most of the flowers that I see are yellow, but there, are a, there is a white version of it out there as well. So there you have it. There are six early spring wildflowers to look for. If you're out there in any time after the middle of March or earlier, if you want to find some skunk cabbage, you can see these beginning to emerge and catch them as they go. So if you have a chance, get out there and have a look for these wildflowers.